Good afternoon. Hi, how are you? Hi. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Good, <laughs> good. Afternoon, everyone. Sorry, we're just a little bit good afternoon. Today. So let's get started. Uh, we'll do Carve, then we'll do Moose, then we'll do Jonathan. Yep. Where you go? Hi. Antonio, first of all, uh, I'm sure you know that Sergio Aguero has been involved in a car accident in Amsterdam. You've had to change your preparations for the game tomorrow. No, no. But first, first of all, uh, I'm I'm sorry for uh, uh, for this situation, and uh, I hope uh, that uh, his uh, his uh, his feeling is good. But usually, when you have this uh, this type of situation, uh, the accent is uh, uh, is not. Uh, it's not good, but I think uh, and I hope uh, that he stay well. Are you surprised that he was out of the country 48 hours before such a big game? For instance, would, would Chelsea players be allowed to be out of the country on a Thursday before a game on Saturday? Mm. No, but... Uh, uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a day off, no? It was a day off, but... And... Uh, I prefer I prefer to, to talk about my players uh, and uh, and not about other players of the other club. I think uh, I repeat that is a lack of respect uh, to judge or to or to give uh, some uh, uh, some evaluations. How much of a blow is it going to be for you tomorrow to be without David Luiz? I, I, as you know, as you know very well, and uh, David Lewis, uh, David is, uh, is a very important player for for us, and uh, uh, yeah, for sure, this is a big loss for uh, for for us. But uh, I think uh, that uh, Andreas Christensen uh, is playing very well and uh, is showing uh, uh, that he's a, a really good player. Young player, but with great maturity, with uh, uh, with good experience, uh, uh, to play with uh, with us. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm happy for uh, uh, for his performance. After his red card against Arsenal and also the red card against Atletico on Wednesday night, is that one area of his game that he needs to improve the, the discipline? Uh, about about to David. Yeah. <coughs> Didn't get a red card against. Atletico. No, Atletico. No, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, no, I, I think I think that uh, uh, he's not a player. Is uh, not uh, used to uh, to take red card. And uh, he's a uh, David. Uh, he's a uh, he's a good player. And uh, he put uh, always he put a great discipline on on the pitch. And then, but. I was player, and I understand understand that sometimes can happen this type of uh, of situations. But and uh, once it's uh, it's okay and uh, it's enough. And what kind of a challenge is it to be uh, playing against a team that is managed by Pep Guardiola? Is it totally different from playing other Premier League teams? But uh, we know very well. We know very well, uh, and uh, 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 his team, his team likes to uh, throw a possession ball. Uh, likes to dominate the game, uh, and uh, yeah, to have a lot of possession to try to with the possession to create uh, many chances to to score. And uh, uh, I think uh, he tries to. Uh, to create uh, uh, a squad with uh, a lot of uh, technical players, creative players, uh, to try to uh, yeah to try to to bring his idea on the pitch. Yeah, but as you know very well, uh, Manchester City, I think, is a is a really a good team, uh, very good team. Is a and uh, but also last season it was the same and then this season I think they improved a lot 
with the good signs and the transfer market. Uh, they started very well. They, uh, they are in a great moment and uh, they have a lot of confidence. And uh, yeah, but for sure we have to pay great attention tomorrow. And uh, but I think that uh, uh, we prepared the, the game in only in only one day today. But uh, we tried to prepare the game in, in the right way. But it uh, it will not be easy against uh, against Manchester City. Are you surprised that there's been so much focus? On the two Manchester clubs, Manchester City and Manchester United, everyone's been talking about them. Uh, whereas you've had a very, very good record this season, apart from the first game of the season. Are you surprised that the focus has been on them and not on Chelsea so much, considering you are the defending champions? No, honestly, honestly, I think that. Uh, 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 to Manchester, uh, to Manchester team, uh, they are doing very, very well, uh, and uh, uh, we know that uh, last season uh, both teams was very, very good, and uh, in this season uh, they they improved a lot with uh, I repeat good signs, and uh, they I think uh, uh, yeah they 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 both. Uh, uh, are really good players, and also uh, they they were able to keep uh, all the players, and uh, above all, uh, yeah, Manchester United, Manchester City. I think they improved a lot. They improved a lot, uh, but I, I'm not surprised, and uh, it's normal when uh, when you have a good result. It's normal uh, uh, that the, the press, uh, uh, the people speak about uh, about you. How important is it for you now that Eden Hazard uh, is fully fit? How important is it? Do you think he's back to his best now? For us, uh, he's an important player. And uh, <laughs> last season, last season, uh, he had uh, uh, an important season. Uh, he played very well. He performed uh, uh, as a top player, uh, and uh, he helped uh, us a lot. Uh, to have uh, a really good season, and uh, now I think that uh, we managed very well his recovery, and uh, we respected uh, the right time uh, before to give him the possibility to play from the start in a big game. Sometimes uh, the players uh, they haven't patience, but uh, <laughs> the coach, the staff uh, has to try to. To take the best decision for uh, for the player, for the team, uh, for the club, and uh, to be sure that uh, now uh, the, the accident, the, the injury, uh, is the past for uh, for him. Now he's uh, he's fit. Uh, he played a really good game against uh, Atletico Madrid. Yeah, I'm I'm very happy. I'm very happy for him. Yes. How much of a worry is it for a manager when? Players do go off abroad. I mean, Thibaut Courtois after a game last year, I think, went to America to watch the Super Bowl and a baseball game. I mean, they have the wherewithal now, players, to go wherever they want and, and they have time off. I'm not saying there's anything wrong by going because they've got time off. But how much of a worry for a coach is that? Uh, uh. Honestly, honestly, uh, I'm not worried. I'm not worried because uh, I I think that uh, uh, I have players uh, that uh, 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 try try to, to to make the best decision, and uh, it's important to understand uh, when uh, there is the the room to uh, uh, to travel and. Uh, to go to to see a game and uh, or for other situation, but honestly, uh, <laughs> I was player. I was player, and uh, when you have uh, your day off, and uh, you you must have uh, uh, you must take uh, own responsibility, and uh, to to try to to make the best decision for you, for for the team, for the club. You got to let them be men, really. Let them make their own mistakes, yeah? 
You've got to let them be men. You can't, you can't look after them all the time. <coughs> you let them make their own decisions. <coughs> you, have, you have to let your players give them freedom, make their own decisions to travel. Or as long as it's okay with you, you let them make their decisions. Uh, but after... Uh, but for who? For, for the players? <coughs> for the players. The, no, but I, I, I think I, I like I like to to give responsibility and uh, because uh, uh, the players are not kids and uh, they are men. They have family and they have uh, a son and uh, I think that uh, it's important to uh, to give the right responsibility and uh, and then uh, for sure they have to. To make the best, uh, the best decision for himself, I repeat, for the club, uh, for uh, for everyone. Has the start that Alvaro Morata has made for you surprised you even? Because he's come in and straight away scored goal right from his debut against Burnley. Patrick last week against Stoke, big goal midweek. Has it even surprised you how well he's taken to the Premier League? I, I, I'm not surprised because uh, uh, I know I know Alvaro very very well, but. For sure, to arrive and to uh, to go into into this league is not simple, and you have a, you need a bit of time to to adapt uh, yourself. But uh, I, I'm pleased. I'm pleased for for him because uh, he's playing very well. He's scoring, and uh, he's totally uh, in uh, in our style of football. He's improving a lot his physical condition. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm happy. I'm happy now. Uh, it's very important to continue in this way. For uh, for him, uh, this the the first chance to uh, to play regularly, uh, like number nine. Because uh, uh, don't forget uh, in the previous uh, uh, experiences with uh, Juventus Real Madrid, uh, he didn't play regularly. And now uh, he has this responsibility and uh, uh, he has this pressure. I think he's responding very well. And last one quickly, um, Pep Guardiola, we, we know how he plays, likes to attack. I mean, I was at Watford a couple of weeks ago when they scored six. Do you prefer playing against a coach like that rather than a, some coaches who are more pragmatic, should we say, and like to just park the bus and say to you, right, come and break us down? Do you prefer it being a real open game like tomorrow promises to be? But I think uh, that every coach uh, uh, must have uh, an own style of football, and uh, for sure I have great respect for Pep. And uh, uh, I think he's uh, uh, he's the best, and uh, I have great respect for him for uh, for his uh, his work, and uh, I like I like to. To watch uh, his uh, his game, also because don't forget uh, every every coach try always every day to uh, to take uh, more information, to take uh, uh, new ideas, and then to try to uh, elaborate uh, with with your uh, with your thought, no? And uh, I think uh, Pep uh, is. Uh, He's a really good coach, and I repeat, I like to to watch his uh, his game. John, Antonio, given the week that you've had, how many changes do you think you'll have to make tomorrow? How many changes? Uh, I don't know. I don't know because uh, don't forget that is uh, the last uh, last game uh, uh, of seven games in 21 days. Uh, this. Uh, uh, a really tough game is an important game uh, after uh, Atletico Madrid, uh, after Atletico, Atletico Madrid game, and uh, it uh, will not be easy to make decision tomorrow because uh, and uh, in, in my eyes, in my eyes, uh, uh, there is the the last performance against Atletico Madrid. Uh, and uh, every every single player performed very well in this game. But uh, I have to check uh, uh, the, the the physical condition uh, with uh, yeah for for every single player, and then to make the the, the best decision. But uh, I repeat. To each player personally and ask them how how they're feeling if they're ready to play if they can play. 
yeah, I, I think I think to play this uh, this type of game, a massive game, an important game, uh, and uh, help you to re to recover very well and uh, quickly, because uh, I think uh, this type of game every every single player wants to play, and uh, also if this uh, this massive game is uh, only after two days uh, of the last game. Yeah, and uh, but I think uh, we are ready. We are ready. This is a massive game, and uh, we have a lot of. Uh, uh, we are excited to play this uh, this type of game against uh, against Manchester City. Is can Eden Hazard? Do you think he's ready to play two games in such a short space of time? But uh, I think uh, uh, Eden, uh, he, if. Uh, he was able to play uh, one game like uh, uh, the last game against Atletico Madrid. It means that he's ready now to play uh, with continuity. But then, uh, I repeat, I have to try to to make the best decision for the team, uh, not uh, only for the single player. Where's that performance against Atletico Madrid rank in your time here? Is that the best? One of the best? Uh, for uh, for Eden. No, for the, for the team, for your team. Ah, for the team. Yeah. No, I think I think uh, it was a, a really good performance because uh, we showed a great, uh, um, great personality, great maturity against a team uh, that uh, is very difficult to play against them. And uh, above all, when uh, you go uh, one nil, uh, one nil down, and uh, <laughs> to to come back against Atletico Madrid is not is not simple. It's not easy because uh, these. Uh, uh, the the situation that they prefer no to uh, to score and then uh, uh, to defend and then uh, to go for uh, uh, to score another goal in Cantarat. <coughs> Mentally, what will that do? Do you think for the team? Psychologically, confidence-wise. But this type of, this this type of game uh, for sure uh, increases our confidence and uh, uh, to win uh, to win this type of game uh, make you. Uh, uh, more strength and uh, yeah but uh, uh, now it's important to be focused on the next game against Manchester City and uh, for us it's an important game we have to pay great attention because they are in a really good moment and uh, uh, they have a lot of confidence uh, but uh, we are playing at home and uh, for sure, uh, our fans try to push, to push uh, us from the start until the end. And tomorrow, I think uh, uh, their support uh, will be uh, very important. Yeah. Antonio, given that they've had very little time on the pitch together, Eden and Alvaro linked up really well against Atletico. They seem to have a very natural understanding. Um, have they worked closely together? on the training pitch or is it simply a case that top players find it easy to play with other top players? Yeah, I, I think that uh, when, when, when you have, uh, have uh, good players, uh, it's, uh, it's more simple to, uh, to see this, uh, this good link. Uh, but for sure, I think that uh, you have also to, to work uh, on the pitch to try to improve this, uh, this link. But when you have good players, uh, it's more simple uh, to find uh, this uh, this link, to to find this combination, uh, to to play very close, uh, and uh, yeah, to play together uh, in very well. Just a final one from me. Um, in midweek, we saw Timo Bakayoko and Golo Kante really control the midfield for Chelsea. Um, now that Timo is, is fit, fully fit now, um, are we seeing your vision for how you want this midfield to work with two players who can kind of do everything, break up attacks and, and get your team moving forward? Yeah, and uh, I think that uh, in, every, in every situation, in every game, you must, uh, you must consider game by game and then uh, to to make uh, uh, the best decision for uh, for uh, for the game because I think uh, the most important things uh, for uh, for every team to find uh, always the right balance and uh, you must consider when uh, you play against a strong team against uh, 
team uh, of medium level uh, or team that they are fighting uh, for the relegation zone because uh, uh, sometimes uh, you uh, yeah you can make a different decision i think now um, bakayoko is uh, is uh, is fit uh, is 100% uh, fit and uh, uh, he's playing uh, he's playing very well for sure uh, he has a lot of uh, of room for improvement he's a young player uh, sometimes uh, he alternates good thing positive things negative things we have to try to work together to uh, to uh, increase the positive things uh, during during the game but for sure uh, he's showing uh, uh, to be a, a really good player, an important player for us. Is, is Murata fully fit? He seemed to have a, a leg problem or something after the game? Yeah, yeah, he's fully fit, yes. He's in contention for tomorrow. Gary? Antonio, first of all, is there any other team news, any players that will be absent? And could you give me your reaction on the second year of Carlo and My reaction, my reaction, uh, and uh, it's a pity because uh, uh, yeah, it's a pity when when happened this uh, this type of situation, and uh, uh, also because I know I know him very well, and uh, I think uh, all uh, all the people knows uh, knows uh, his value, and uh, is one of the best. Uh, 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 coaches uh, in uh, in the world, and uh, yeah, but <laughs> you know, as you know very well, and uh, uh, our job, our job uh, is this. Our job and uh, uh, the result are uh, are very important, and uh, you can do a, a really good job, but uh, if. Uh, <laughs> And there isn't uh, the, the result. You risk. You risk. But this is uh, uh, this is the, the the history, no. And uh, we try. We try to to repeat that it's important to uh, to value the our job, and the result is uh, is a part of our job. But I think that uh, <laughs> we can speak, but. <laughs> We depend of of the result, and uh, you can be the best. But uh, if you have a good bad result, uh, you risk you risk to to be sacked. Do you think he was treated with disrespect by, his, by the dressing room, considering his history? Sorry, by the dressing room. Yeah. You said by the players. Yeah. Do you think the players disrespected yeah, Ancelotti? Just, no, but uh, no, I don't think. Then I. Uh, I spoke uh, with him uh, in uh, uh, in Singapore, and uh, he was happy. He was happy, and uh, he was happy to to, to work uh, with uh, with his player. With yeah. Like seeing back in the Premier League. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I think now. Uh, uh, he, he will be uh, stop, on, I think, for this season. Eh? In my in my idea, in my opinion, also because uh, don't forget when uh, when you uh, you are the coach of a great team uh, and I suspect a lot of of energy, physically and also mentally. And I think uh, when uh, you have the possibility in this case, uh, uh, a bad situation, but to have the possibility to uh, to take a bit of, of time for yourself. I think it's not it's not bad, and uh, uh, you can use this time to to recharge your uh, your battery. And finally, just the update on team news, please. Any absent players for this match? Uh, Anybody could, not available? Any player not no, available for this game? No, no, no. For for tomorrow, for tomorrow, no, no. Um, only only drink water is not uh, available, and, but the other are in contention for uh, for tomorrow's game. Okay. Uh, do you still want a question, Design? No, no, no. no, you're good? Okay, right, we'll stop there, guys. Uh, thank you. Camera's off. Thank you.